Well, today a high stakes meeting to decide the financial future for the University of Arizona. This is a big talker here in our Absolutely. state. Absolutely. Governor Katie Hobbs is now meeting with the Arizona Board of Regents and you Arizona leaders. So we want to bring in ABC 15's Jordan Bonke this morning with more on what led up to some of the changes that Jordan are already happening at the university. Yeah, you the University of Arizona is facing a hundred and seventy seven million dollar shortfall. And when that is the case, you have two big key changes that come from some of these top officials, and that's cutting costs and raising tuition here. This all stemmed from a miscalculation of cash revenues, and the costs are already being cut with hiring freezes and reducing financial aid for out-of-state students, and unfilled positions are already being erased. The university president, Robert Robbins, said that there won't be any widespread layoffs, and there could be some potential layoffs next month in April. The Board of Regents said that they'll honor tuition guarantees for current students students and then reduce financial aid for out of state students and the university president Robbins is expected to reduce his salary from $800,000 annually down to $720,000. That's a 10% reduction. We did hear from one faculty Senate chair who says there needs to be even more account accountability higher up. It is not the working people who run the university. It is not the faculty, not the staff, not the graduate students. We need to see um, accountability among the senior leadership team. There's already been lots of different accountability changes with leadership changes, I should say. And that's uh, over the, the athletic director of U of A has been replaced. The chief financial officer resigned. The board of regents chair stepped down from a leadership role, but stayed on the board. And the board's executive director took a leave of absence while he fills in as the chief financial officer over at the university. That meeting expected to happen later on this morning. Katie Hobbs is here. We're keeping an eye out for any sort of traffic on into this building. We'll be here throughout the morning reporting just on downtown Phoenix. Jordan Bonke, ABC 15, Arizona. And certainly, Jordan, I think that the impact in what that woman was saying is that there's still fears that they want to be sure that it's not staff going away or student prices going up. Clearly lots of questions there. Appreciate that, Jordan. It's almost